welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back <sighs> you don't know how much this means to me thank you so much for the ones who are new here hello my name is Siobhan I am a stay-at-home wife of five I have been married for 14 years to my wonderful wonderful husband I am also an ordained minister my channel is mostly mommyhood lifestyle cooking and cleaning organization home decor as well as easy beauty looks for the busy mom I love to bake so you're definitely going to see that on this channel and if that's something that you're interested please make sure to hit the subscribe button come enjoy my family because we are having some fun over here okay <laughs> On today's video, I have four quick dinner ideas, 45 minutes or less for the busy mom or for the stay at home mom who just does not have the time to stand in the kitchen to try to cook a meal that's going to be an hour or two hours long. We don't have that type of time anymore, ladies. Between homeschooling, the pandemic, husbands coming home from work, trying to keep our minds sane, cooking and cleaning all day long because we're now the lunch lady, superintendent, technical support, the maid, everything, <laughs> principal teacher we are doing it all this half of the year now so, on Friday nights we usually have takeout and this Friday night we decided that our takeout was going to be pizza so that is the only thing that I don't have recorded I figured you know pizza is pizza whether you have sausage whether you have cheese whether you have pepperonis on it pizza is pizza we've all seen pizza so I decided to exclude that clip so that these clips are just from Monday through Thursday and it's something that you can put together 30 to 45 minutes in the kitchen easy peasy lemon squeezing. I hope that you all enjoy this video and if you are interested in more videos like this please make sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment which meal was your favorite meal and which one you are looking forward to trying. Make sure you to subscribe. Please share this video. Make sure you hit the bell <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Thank you all so much again and I love you. God bless and have a good day. Monday night's dinner was stewed turkey wings with sauteed shrimp. On the side, we had white rice and golden crisp corn. So I like to start this dish by sauteing red and green peppers as well as some yellow onions in about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I sauteed the onions until they start bursting with flavor. I add in my meat and I let each side brown for about five minutes. Once I put the cover onto the pan, I let this cook for 10 minutes. I add in a half a cup of water. This is going to start with my gravy and it's also going to help steam and cook the rest of the meat all the way. I also take the time to add in browning at this point and that's to create the brown color in the brown stew turkey as well as any additional seasoning that I would like to add just to flavor the water a little bit more. You're probably wondering if this is a surf and turf type of night, but it actually is not. If you are new here, my husband does not eat red meat, and I have also committed myself to cutting out red meat for the rest of the year. Well, I take that back until Thanksgiving, but <laughs> I make, I always make an additional um, seafood for him, but tonight we're gonna, add, my, my kids are gonna get some of the shrimp as well. So as you can see, I just took some red peppers and some green peppers and some pieces of onion, sauteed that in some oil, added in my already seasoned shrimp. All I did was season it with some complete seasoned Old Bay, and um, I'm adding in frozen spinach at this point. My husband didn't want his shrimp cooked deeply, meaning that he didn't want it browned, so I just sauteed it lightly. I added a little bit of butter off camera, and this was his meal. Absolutely delicious. said my kids were going to want shrimp as well so this was their plate moving on to Tuesday night we are having beef stir-fry with broccoli over a bed of white rice these are the ingredients that I use to season the beef I also added Worcestershire sauce as the meat is cooking does anyone else have a problem pronouncing that word is it Worcestershire 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 I don't know but I say Worcestershire sauce <laughs> yeah I might be saying it totally incorrect but you know what I mean 
So I have already cleaned and seasoned this meat and it sat in the fridge for about a day just so that way it could soak up all of the good seasoning that I added onto it. And I let this saute in about a half a tablespoon, now I'm taking that back, a full tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now, if you've never made this dish before, stir fry is very quick to cook. You literally only have to cover it, let it steam with some water, and the meat is pretty much done in about 10 minutes. So I just take this time to add in my broccoli. I add a little bit more of some seasoning salt on top of the broccoli, just so that way the broccoli can get some flavor as well. I also like to drain the original water and oil that it's been cooking in. And then at this point, I add the Worcestershire, 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 I don't know but we add in the Warchire sauce and I let this steam down all together. Up next is Wednesday, we're having teriyaki salmon, baked macaroni and cheese, as well as steamed broccoli. Once my fish has finished browning on both sides and is cooked all the way through, I use the teriyaki pineapple sauce that is from Lowry's and I add in a bit of minced garlic. I allow the garlic to cook with the teriyaki sauce before adding in my fish. Once I add in my fish, I also like to add in some drops of honey to give it um, a little extra sweet because this teriyaki sauce can be a bit on the tangy side as well as when you add in your seasoned fish. So I like to add the honey just to sweeten it up a bit. I know everyone has a different recipe for baked macaroni and cheese, but this is just mine. This is heavy whipping cream with seasoning. I allow that to boil. I add in my sour cream, ricotta cheese, as well as small curd cottage cheese, one bag of shredded Mexican style cheese, as long as it has, you know, a yellow cheese inside of it. And I allow that to cook and boil down. I also take the time in to add some scotch bonnet sauce to the milk mixture because we like it spicy. I add in my pasta, I put it in the pan, add some shredded cheese on the top, and I throw this bad girl in the oven. Now it is finally Thursday and this is the last meal of the week that I get to cook. I am having sauteed salmon with my famous spinach rice. It's not really that famous but my family loves it. This is what I use to saute the salmon. This salmon I purchased from Target in the frozen section and it even though it tasted good because I know how to cook of course, I truly did not like this piece of salmon. So next time I'm just gonna stick to my fish market and I'm going to get it that way. But as you can see, I just lightly seasoned my salmon. I sauteed it, added a half a cup of water. This is going to boil down, but I add a little bit more and then I add just a pinch of salt into the water to keep it flavored. Now in my rice mixture, this is just white rice, water, butter, as well as some seasoning. I am adding in my frozen spinach and then I'm going to lightly add a little bit of seasoning salt on top of this just to give the spinach a little bit of a kick while it's cooking in the rice. And as you can see, it wilts down very quickly. I love to cook with frozen spinach because it takes no time for it to cook.
and voila, sauteed salmon over a bed of spinach rice. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when I post my next video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Thank you.